Well, can you make a living buying and selling secondhand clothes? It's called clothes flipping, buying used clothes for cheap, then reselling them for the highest price possible. But how much money can you really make? 13 Action News reporter Nina Porshankula met up with a local clothes flipper at a Savers to talk about how he did it and what you need to know if you want to do the same thing. When Gerald Cagwin realized he can turn his love for thrift shopping to make ends meet, he started flipping clothes. I had a good month where I've probably spent nearly only like $60, came out maybe like around three to $400. But it's not that simple. First, decide on the type of clothing you'll resell. Start with what you know. So for example, Gerald likes t-shirts. Then research online to see how much you can profit from it. I know right now like a lot of tees that people are into are like those vintage like single stitch shirts. Or this Durham Bulls shirt, for example. Honestly, you can get it for $2. Probably maybe sell it for like $10, $11. I tried it myself. I grabbed a dress and a jacket. Gerald says it's likely I won't profit much from reselling this dress worth $15 from an unknown brand. But not that great of a choice. No, I wouldn't say so. But this jacket, though, if you spent like 20 bucks on that, you could probably make maybe like $10 more. Like, it's all leather. Plus, it's getting cold out there, so this jacket gets a pass. Next thing to do, take good pictures of the items you're reselling because it is all about presentation, so have good lighting. I think with pictures, you really got to make it look like a certain way for people to buy it as well. And think about where you're reselling clothes. Typical places are eBay and several apps that cater to either local or even out-of-state customers. Gerald uses the app Depop, which basically looks like an Instagram for reselling clothes. And once you've made your first sale, it's easy to get the ball rolling. The bottom line with clothes flipping. Profitable, I would say so, but it takes a lot of time and effort like flipping through racks. Just watch out for changing fashion trends. And if you end up with unsold items, that's when you can always just donate and, you know, or make package deals. It was just talking about package deals there. So, for example, this stop right here, if it doesn't sell as fast or as well as you thought it would be, you could always bundle it up with other pieces of clothing. That way you can sell it for a higher price. You get rid of those. Make some room in your closet for more clothes so that you can sell more. Beth and Dana? Yeah, and he feels like, you know, you feel like you're getting a deal if you buy something like that. So, he said he was making a couple hundred off, like, buying things for, like, 60 bucks or something? Exactly. Well, it is the kind of side hustle that would depend on how much time, how much effort you really put in it. If you really are, I've seen stories of people who make hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you know, you can just imagine how much time and effort they're putting in yeah. that. Yeah. But if you want to start small, you can start out like that. Great tip. Great tip. Thanks, Nina. All right.